it's indicated that you've had a massive detox. Okay. Massive. Your cellular energy production, your phase angle, improved over 5%. Right. Which basically means your body's functioning much better. So you're producing energy more. So stronger on the bike? <laughs> All right, so we're back in South Melbourne. I'm off to see Tim. He's the fasting expert, the practitioner that set me up on this five-day cleanse, which I finished a day and a half ago. I'm currently in a reintroduction to food program, day seven, and I'm off to meet Tim to talk about the five-day cleanse, the experience that I just had, all the weird symptoms that I felt. My Instagram followers will know I felt some pretty bizarre things like achy legs, sore lower back, cold and flu symptoms. So I want to ask him about why I felt that way. We're also going to do another bioimpedance test to find out what physiological changes have happened in my body since going on the five day fast. All right, so Tim, I want to talk to you about all my side effects. I want you to explain yeah. to me why I felt that way before we go through the bioimpedance test, the results that I've yeah. got over the last, yeah. um, what, six or seven days? Well, when did we last do that? It was two weeks ago, was it? We did it. Two weeks ago, two weeks so ago. a few yeah. days before you started. Yeah, yeah, about five days before I started. Yeah, yeah. And um, as long as you didn't do anything crazy, like you didn't go on a crazy monster carb loading fest before nah, the nah, fast. No, no, I just kept just, it normal. Yeah, yeah, okay. If you kept yeah. it normal, it's fine. Yeah. 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 Um, but before I go into side effects, mm -hmm. I gave you a message the day after and <laughs> said, "When can I have coffee?" And you said, "Another seven days." And it's absolutely destroying me. I'm feeling a little bit better now, but that text back from you saying no caffeine for another seven days, why am I, why am I why? not allowed caffeine? Well, because what we'd established initially when we first, in the first you know, consult while we were chatting, looking at your day-to-day -day functioning, day-to-day -day energy levels, what you eat and all that sort of stuff, basically you have a bit of a, you were reliant a bit on coffee as a fix, an energy fix, and it's an artificial fix. So it you know, stimulates the liver to produce more uh, to release more sugar into your bloodstream, you know, via this sort of a fix via the adrenals to stimulate the liver to, you know, release more sugar. And that's great in the short term and in the long term, it can drain you. It can be bad for your nervous system, bad for your adrenals, and so it can rob you of energy, amongst other things. So basically, when you go on, if you, if you stay on caffeine, you're staying reliant on a chemical to to stay fixed and I basically have seen with clients and with myself and what have you many many times the difference between real energy and stimulated energy and if you clean your system out and your body works well then it'll produce energy. So could you drink a coffee and do a cleanse at the same time or that wouldn't be you probably could, counterintuitive? But it's like you know riding running a marathon and stopping at 40 k's. Yeah. I, I don't know right. you know like it's, if all, you probably. you know just you probably could, but it wouldn't be anywhere near as good. Yeah. And you're still, your system's not, you're not giving your system a complete rest. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we did that. And then it's just when in the end there, you know, you said, can I have a coffee now? And it's like, well, you're still sort of in that cycle. And then I think it was the next day, can I have black tea? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, no, the boy's looking for a fix. Yeah. However he can get his fix. Yeah. And black tea's not as strong as coffee, but it's still caffeine. So yeah. it's just like, wait. Because you, you, you're not doing an, ex, an extended, extended fast. You're doing a five-day fast. And from our discussions, most of that time will be full-on detoxing. So you haven't even, I don't think you've even seen the fruits of this process. So I'd prefer you see, you know, rather than getting a fix now from caffeine, I'd prefer you to sort of wean off it properly and then see the energy levels you can have without it. Yeah. And then you know, well, I don't, I'm not reliant on it. Yeah, okay. Fair call. That's the reason. Yeah, fair call. Plus, I, 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 you know, I'm a masochist and I just like seeing you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was a bit surprised about yeah. this five days. Yeah. The way my body reacted. I was yeah. anticipating from just watching a few videos and things that I've seen that I was going to start feeling really good on day four and five. But it turns out that I felt like the first two days I was um, getting through coffee withdrawals. Yeah. And then day three, I went through like into detoxing yeah. and it was day three, day four, and even a bit of five and even yeah. a little bit into six yeah. where I just felt, here are, the, here are the symptoms and I want I want you to understand why okay. I felt this way. So I had achy, like abs and lower back. I yeah. could almost feel it internally. It was aching, like my organs were aching. That was day um, three, four, I think you were saying. Yeah, day three, four. Yeah, yeah. and even a little bit of five. Um, yeah. I had pretty much bad sleep the whole time. I woke up yeah. a number of times in the middle of the night 
Yeah. Found it hard to get back to sleep, like around 3.30 a couple of times. Um, cold and flu-like symptoms. And I also had um, some light headaches as well yeah. throughout. So, and that was, so the five days was pretty hard. It wasn't like the first two days were hard and then the next yeah. three days were a bit easier. Like it was really tough going. So why did yeah. I feel like that? Uh, well, the first couple of days with the caffeine withdrawal, that's the headaches and sort of the, you might feel a bit edgy and that, that's definitely um, withdrawal from caffeine. So some of those symptoms could be that, but a lot of those symptoms you're talking about, in fact, all of them are classic detox response. So it's like your body's putting it out the garbage. So it's so, you know, cells are cleaning out and, you know, the liver's metabolizing more toxins because your body, you're not putting more toxins in, you're giving your digestive system a rest. And you're saving a fair bit of energy from digestion, so your body spends more energy on metabolism and what have you. And you basically you're cleaning your system out, but it'll in the process of if it gets released out of cells or out of organs, then it'll be in your before it gets released out of your body, it'll flow around your blood system. So what you've gone through, because you've done a five day fast, you've gone through, you know. In the times I've done fast, there the first five days were the toughest days. So you've gone through the the big de- the big detox. Right. You know that's the big cleanse. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm not surprised that that's what you felt. Right. I've I've done it a couple of times where I fasted with two or three other people at the same time, and we compared symptoms and we monitored each other ourselves with the biomedians along the way, and we're all different. Yeah. Like one person felt amazing straight away. And we were dirty at her. Yeah. Because <laughs> I felt pretty, I've always felt a bit ordinary early. Yeah. And then felt great later on. Right. And now, now the guy was a bit similar to me, although he didn't feel as great later on. So. The one that I found most strange was the, yeah. the, I could actually feel my internal organs, like my kidneys, yeah. like achy. Like I've, ne- I've never experienced yeah. that in my life. And that was kind of, it was almost like this connecting experience with my body because it was like doing things that yeah. it's never done before because it was ridding myself yeah. of that. Why would I get the aching well, in actual internally? In It's going to be work. Things like your kidneys, your liver, you know, your gallbladder, and they're going to work harder. Okay. Even your spleen to a degree, they're going to work harder because you're detoxing and cleansing. And it's, you know, it's it's a quite a, a, a full-on process. And so I remember the first question I asked you is how much water are you drinking? Yeah, and right. you said apart from the old herbal tea and the juices, you're not having much, which actually surprised me. Because, you know, I would think you'd need a litre to a litre and a half on top of those. Yeah. And so if you're not drinking a lot of water, you're not, your body's got to flush them out, you know, the toxins out somehow. We'll go into this further when we talk about what you, what we found from the biomedians test results. Because yeah. that relates a bit to this. We're going to talk about that then now. Yeah. I, I found some of them super interesting. Well, rather than bringing it up on the screen and going into detail, you lost... Um, about one, I mean, I've found, for example, when I've done fast in the past, I lost about similar amounts of fat, muscle, and water, whereas you lost, you lost about, Six what was kilos it? 5.8, yeah, 5.8. you lost 1.2 kilos of fat, yep. um, <coughs> roughly 1.2, 2.1 or so of muscle, so that's more muscle than fat, but you didn't have a lot of fat to lose at the start, whereas yep. I, I put on, I put on muscle <coughs> easy, um, which also means I put on fat easy, so I've always carried a little. Even when I was training full time, I always carried a little bit. You said that was, that as well because I was burning more muscle yeah. than fat might have actually been yeah. making me feel yeah. bad as well. But why is that? Yeah, well, because if you're burning a lot of muscle, so when your body breaks, because you're on a fast, you've got no, you've got very very little carbohydrate coming in. Yes, you're having a couple of juices, but it's not a lot. Yeah. So your body will have to find energy stores from its own internal stores. So it will start converting muscle and fat back to carbohydrate for energy, mm. um, called gluconeogenesis, just for, the, yeah, for a fancy word, word yeah. for you. <laughs> and when you convert fat back to carbohydrate, the byproduct is a ketone, yep. so ketosis. Yep. When you convert muscle back to carbohydrate, the byproduct is ammonia. Yeah, right. And ammonia, you smell floor product, floor cleaning product. Can you taste that? Yeah, you can, that's can often can equate to... Because um, right. I reckon I had at times, my wife came yeah. with me to yeah. sense check me and say, yeah, you yeah. press things, but I had this like yeah. weird taste in my yeah. mouth. Yeah, so you're, produ- you're burning, you burn, well, not double, but close to double the amount of muscle than you burn fat. Yeah. So you're, you were 
beyond ketosis, you were burning, and therefore you've got this. You could have the ammonia circulating around your system as well. Yeah, okay. It's not. It's not at the level where it's extremely bad for you. In your situation, that's why we supervise you on a fast. We want to know what's going on. Yeah. Yes, you were burning. It wasn't dangerous, but you know, it's something we monitor over time. What are you burning? Muscle yeah. fat, etc. And that can explain to some of those <coughs> yucky feelings. Yeah, interesting. Plus, plus, also, then you're, you know, flushing. As I mentioned, you're also flushing toxins yeah. out of cells, out of organs, and they may be then travelling around your system, and you're not going to feel good from that either. Yeah, <laughs> double-edged sword. And it doesn't mean to say everyone who does a fast is going to get this. Yeah. But you're just, you're just like me. That in the first, you know, like when I've done the two weeks, the first five days were the hardest days for me. Yeah. And so, you've done a five-day fast. You've just done the hard yards. Yeah. But what we also found from that test, so that's the body composition changes. Your abdomen drops seven centimetres, which is, what's that, three inches. Yeah. Um, it's it. pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my but, pants are falling off me. Yeah. Um, but in terms of water loss, you lost over three, you lost 3.25 kilos of water total. And you, we, we want to have more water inside the cells than outside the cells. I think it's roughly 60, 40 inside compared to outside. And you stripped. And so if water gets drawn from the inside of the cells to the outside of the cells, it means there's something going on. And that normally that will be some sort of chemical reaction that water is drawn to, and that will be normally toxicity or inflammation or infection. And in your case, you lost most of that 3.2 litres of water was, was extracellular water. So your basic body's basically, you've lost, you know, when you're losing that much extracellular water, you're, um, you're, that's an indication you're flushing toxicity. Right. But they're, in, yeah, so you're that's losing toxins. Sign. Yeah, it's a great sign. Right. So when I found in that phase when people do a fast or they do a detox program and when their water, extracellular water levels drop, I've generally found that's the time when they start to feel really good, when it starts, when that drops and then it starts to plateau. We don't know that with you at this stage, but I would expect you'll start to feel pretty good within the next day or so. Oh, well, you've already said now, yeah, you've so. already started to perk up yeah, now. Yeah. And the first day after the fast is not really you're not going out and having lots of food. It's pretty basic well, it's broth without the without yeah, the veggies. Like four big glasses of water with a little bit of stuff in it. To yeah. Be honest, it didn't so it's pretty much still like, fasting. It is. Yeah, yeah, it felt like it. Yeah, but we just take it really slowly, reintroducing you to food. So. Essentially, you're, you, what, it's indicated that you've had a massive detox. Okay. Massive. And what that also showed was that you're, we look at a thing called phase angle, which looks at how the ability of the body to hold on to the, the charge, because there's a difference in charge from the inside to the outside of a cell. If my cells are really healthy and round and robust, like grapes, they'll hold on to the charge better. Right. And therefore, they'll do their job better. In other words, they'll produce energy better and they'll do whatever job their job is. So. A cell in your brain will do what brain cells do better, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, your cellular energy production, your phase angle, improved over five percent. Right. Which basically means your body's functioning much better. So You're does producing that energy more. Five percent stronger on the bike. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It would be nice to say that, but I don't have a direct correlate okay. between. I don't have a longitudinal study that's done a comparison of improving phase angle and performance yeah. on a bike. So okay. can I say that definitively? No. About to find but, out. Yeah. But what we what we can say is is that you're more likely to be producing energy more efficiently and let's see. Yeah. Let's see. You know, okay. it, yes, you definitely are producing more energy more efficiently. There's less what we call fluid retention, less inflammation, so your body's cleaner or work better. Theoretically from that, then you'll recover better between sessions because you'll because everything works better yeah okay your cells are working better your body's cleaner in general i guess it goes back to that using the right fuel and giving your car a good clean yeah. service and tune yeah. it'll just function better